Did you know that pure tungsten is actually worth less than tungsten carbide at the scrapyard? It seems kind of backwards, right? Let's break down how and why this works. So in the scrapyard, usually a rule of thumb is that the purer the material, the more value it has when we're purchasing it. And that's because of how the recycling process work. Materials sent out for recycling and refinement often needs to be separated from impurities and contaminations because when they bring out the final product, it needs to be free of all those contaminants. This takes time and money, and that's often why material is worth more when it's brought in pure than when it's contaminated. But that's not the case with tungsten carbide. Now, before I get into this, I wanna clear up some terminology when talking about this kind of material. A lot of the times when people come into the scrapyard, we hear the word carbide, and we assume that it's tungsten carbide, but that's not always the case. Carbide, by definition, is a chemical compound. It's a mix between carbon and another material. In the scrap world, when we refer to tungsten carbide, that's tungsten that's mixed with cobalt. Now, why is this important? Not everything called carbide is something that has value when brought into the scrapyard. And I have a couple examples of this over here. This is called calcium carbide, and it's often used in older lighting and lamp fixtures. You'll see the name carbide on it, but it doesn't have any valuable materials when you bring it to the scrapyard. In fact, it's actually kind of dangerous when you expose it to water because it's gonna create a gas that's highly flammable. I also have some silicone carbide here. Its primary composition is silicone, but there's no tungsten or cobalt in here. It's used for a lot of electronics as an abrasion for hard metals, but again, no value because there's no tungsten or cobalt inside of it. Sometimes you're also gonna have it bonded with nickel and copper, and that's gonna change the name of it, but this is primarily what we're looking at. So let's answer the question on why tungsten carbide pays more than pure tungsten. The biggest reason is supply and demand. There's just a higher market value for tungsten carbide than there is for pure tungsten. And that's because pure tungsten is more of a niche material. You're gonna see it in jewelry and some other electronic components, whereas tungsten carbide is a lot more common applications such as your drill bits, your cutting inserts, and a lot of different sort of wear parts. Tungsten carbide is also harder, more durable, and more scratch resistant than pure tungsten is. And the other reason tungsten carbide's worth so much is because of the manufacturing process. Like I talked about earlier, tungsten carbide is a mixture of tungsten and cobalt, whereas pure tungsten is just by itself. So when you look at the manufacturing process, it takes more time and effort to create the tungsten carbide than it just does the pure tungsten. And that costs time and money, which makes the value of the material go up. So where do you sell tungsten and tungsten carbide? Well, not every scrapyard accepts this material, and it helps to work with a buyer who specializes in it. I always recommend calling the yard before bringing your material in, and I'd also ask to see if they have a spectrometer to verify the material and make sure you're getting paid correctly. One option is rrcarbide.com, and they specialize in a lot of specialty alloys like the tungsten carbide we spoke on and other specialty alloys as well. So you found a yard that takes your material. What's next? Separate it. Some yards will take your material mixed as is for the same price. A lot of yards might actually pay you less if you bring the material in mixed. So go through your stuff, go through your material, separate it, and you might get a better price. Here I've separated some of the material into some of the different categories. We have your drill bits and rounds, your inserts, your wear parts, sludge, and powder. Thanks for watching. There was a lot of things that I couldn't cover today, but if you have questions on the material or this video, leave a comment below. And if you want to continue to learn more about this material and scrapping in the future, go ahead and leave a comment and subscribe. And don't forget to visit the iScrap app for more information.